but we still had in this speech, you know, it's almost like it's become reflexive, uh, this notion that America abandoned our ideals after 9-11. And I think that it is, you know, as we see this president repeatedly go onto foreign soil and accuse America of having tortured people, talk about Guantanamo Bay as an abandonment of our ideals, you know, that part of the speech to me really is nothing short of shameful. And, and it's not just an attack on political opponents, you know, it really is casting aspersions and I would say slandering the men and women in the CIA who carried out key programs that kept us safe. Um, and the people, frankly, right now at Guantanamo Bay who are guarding some of the world's worst terrorists. So I think that part of the speech re represents um, something I hope the president will stop soon. No, he meant your father. Several other points, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, Ms. Cheney, America did torture or allow torture in multiple parts of the globe under the Bush-Cheney administration, in Bagram Theater internment facility in Afghanistan, in Abu Ghraib in Iraq from rendition, most notably, of course, at Guantanamo Bay. For any U.S. official to stand up against torture by other U.S. officials does not impugn the entire organization, for example, the CIA. But Ms. Cheney evidently shares with her father a blind, mindless investment in authority that any criticism of an organization like the CIA would be slander. But what is equally remarkable is the passage from the president's Oslo speech that incited such ire from Ms. Cheney was this. And even as we confront a vicious adversary that abides by no rules, I believe the United States of America must remain a standard bearer in the conduct of war. That is what makes us different from those whom we fight. That is a source of our strength. That is why I prohibited torture. That is why I ordered the prison at Guantanamo Bay closed. And that is why I have reaffirmed America's commitment to abide by the Geneva Conventions. We lose ourselves when we compromise the very ideals that we fight to defend. That is what Ms. Cheney characterized as President Obama going on foreign soil and accusing America of having abandoned our ideals. But the first sentence of the Cheney criticism may be very well uh, the most telling of them all. Quote, it is almost like it has become reflexive, this notion that America abandoned its ideals after 9-11, end quote, because that is the crux of it. That is precisely what Dick Cheney and company did during the Bush administration. They abandoned American ideals, not with one fell swoop, not through one misspent but well-intentioned action. They did it systematically and relentlessly, with much deliberation of forethought. And they continued to do it even when the dire consequences of such actions grew grossly reverberated within their eight-year reign. So it is telling that Liz Cheney pointed all that out.